decided to come back on. <sighs> Mad windy out right now. So low key, let me put the back to my back to the wind. So this quality is not trash, but man, this car got me jacked up. I mean, low key, I knew this was gonna happen. The EBCM is known to go on these cars and it's really not that bad. Um, I'm gonna pull it apart right now, show you guys how to do all that fun stuff. And we're gonna get it sent out to ABS Fixer. First things first, you definitely wanna disconnect your battery, at least positive. Mine's a little corroded, tiny, a little bit. Check the date, um, 413. Yeah, definitely gonna get this changed just for peace of mind. Um, now, the, uh, all you have to do to get the EBCM off, you can't really see here, but attach this piece over here in the front. There's a little module, like not a bit little, it's a, it's big, a big module here. So you got this, this is the module I'm talking about right here. And uh, it's six screws, three on one side, three on the other. You need a T20. Um, I got this handy dandy screwdriver and some Allen keys. I actually uh, had an Allen key out, but it flew out of my hand, so. We're just gonna sit it up and do it. died so i couldn't get all the footage just some few things to watch out for is that uh there's actually two electrical connections on this one here the main one and one on the bottom here so i actually only pulled out the main one and got everything disconnected and i saw this one connected you don't want to do that just one clip you pull this tab up that's on here it pops right off pretty easy and uh just be aware because i actually took out these two bottom screws instead of these so I was like, what's going on? It's not coming out. And uh, yeah, I accidentally took out these. But um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. It took me about an hour. So we're gonna get this sent out and put back in. So I see y'all in a week for me, but 0.01 seconds for you. I feel like I waited months for this, but look what came in. Yeah, I already, I already opened it up just to make sure. Here's what I thought. It's all back uh, in the bag that I brought it in. And it's all repaired, so let's get this sucker back in the car finally. And hopefully everything's all good. I
Everything's back in, everything's buttoned back up. I got the battery button back up. Let's start this car. Hopefully everything goes well. I didn't severely fuck it up. But knowing me, I just might up. Ooh, it's gonna be a cold, cold start. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> I never hooked it. I never hooked it back up. <laughs> never plugged it back in. All right, let me do that real quick. All right, let's try this one again. Service active handling. Door jar. We should be good though. Try to turn it off. Turn it on, reset. No ABS. All right. Or oh, the options. One, two, three, four. Go up. Manual diagnostics to code. Reset. Reset. personally um before when i tried to reset the code it didn't even work so i'm gonna say that it's a success when i have everything plugged in the abs light did not come on so let's just try to move forward a little bit see if anything catastrophic happens first a little bit this thing started in stupid long but i'm glad we got everything done and we got everything fixed because i was type sad yeah nothing looks like it's leaking around here so nothing weird no weird noises everything plugged back in i'm gonna call this a success so if you have this issue or you wonder if you have this issue whatever and you need more explanation or anything just hit me up um so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video more mods coming soon that shit looks sexy more mods coming soon and i promise i got some fun stuff coming this is just the boring everyday corvette stuff that happens so anyways guys thanks for watching peace